Hi guys, I'm back with another video. Um, I've actually been MIA for probably over a month and a half. Um, probably longer actually. So, um, I was just really busy with the holidays. I had actually some vis visitors come. My best friend came to visit as well as my parents who were here for about close to three weeks. And it's just always just super hectic around the holidays. Lots of things are going on, holiday events, work events, um, visitors and whatnot. So I'm excited because I'm back and I always have a lot of things I want to review but it always takes me some time to uh, get these things squared away. So um, I'm going to be reviewing two things in this video. Um, I'm very excited because I'm going to be doing this using this Tartius Pro by Tarte Cosmetics. This is actually a very big palette. I'm really excited because the colors are just really quite beautiful if you take a look at them. Um, I always really like their their makeup because it actually is, you know, cruelty free. So you'll always see the tiny little icon in the the corner or wherever or it'll actually be a little bunny because most of the times, unfortunately, makeup and different things are tested on bunnies since they're super sensitive. And I'm a total animal lover. I actually have a bunny myself. And um, I really try to focus on trying to pick um, lines that don't test on animals. So anyway, I will be doing... Um, I'm just going to be testing out this palette. I'm not really going to be in doing any type of tutorial on it. Um, I definitely will show you what's inside the palette when it's open for the first time and it always takes me some time to actually do my makeup but um, I will come back and do a review on this mascara which is the Lancome Grandiose Extreme. This was actually really quite popular last year. Um, I actually just went for it and bought it so it, it was not cheap. So. Um, I mean, most of these high-end um, makeup lines, the products are never really cheap. So I'm really excited to use this one because I did get a, um, I did see a lot of reviews that really like this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, prep my face as usual. Um, I'm actually not going to be putting on sunscreen right now because it's actually nighttime, and so I'm just going to prep my face, put foundation on, primer, foundation, um, and then. Um, I also do like my concealer and everything. And then I'll just come back to show you the um, actual palette itself. Um, and then I will actually decide on the shades I'm going to use. And then I will come back to test this out on camera. So um, I'm excited because my current favorite right now is actually the Buxom Mascara, which I actually did a review on that on my last video. Um, that one really, really does a great job with... Um, lengthening my lashes. Um, so let's just go on to um, the actual un unboxing of this uh, amazing palette. So I think I'm going to have a hard time actually deciding on what colors to choose, but this is actually the palette. This is Tardius Pro. Uh, let me open it up. Here's the palette. Looks so beautiful. So brand new. So let me just open it up. Oh my gosh. Just look how freaking gorgeous that is. Um, yeah, so I'm probably going to have a hard time deciding on what colors. Um, you do see like a lot of the different wide varieties of colors. Um, so some of the very light colors as well as darker colors and these ones are all shimmery which can't get enough shimmer and it comes with like an amazing uh just an amazing uh huge mirror so that's awesome so um i'm going to actually uh take this offline and actually just apply um just i don't know what type of look i'm going to go for but i'm definitely going to try to try to use a couple of these colors and then I'll come back to let you know what I think about this palette and then uh, we'll be off to testing out the mascara. So stay tuned. Hi guys, I'm back. Um, I actually had a really hard time deciding on what colors I wanted to try but I decided to kind of go with more of a um, kind of like an orangey tone, 
golden type of look. Um, so basically, these are the shadows that I did choose. Um, let's see. This one, as well as... So then I decided to use Chic, a little bit of Classic. Um, I definitely use Bold down here, and I use a little bit of Whimsy, and I use some Innocent. And uh, for the glitter part, I use this color for Glam. So, I have to say that I do really like the palette. Um, I definitely am going to try a lot of different other color combinations as well as colors. I do think that the actual um, colors, the matte colors, are actually very pigmented. So you actually don't need to have to use tons, which I really love. Um, I feel like a lot of times if you go with the other brands, um, when it's matte, I expect it to be pretty highly pigmented. I mean, for the ones that are shimmery, you know, these ones on the side right here, um, all of these, I tend to have, I mean, I expect those to kind of be lighter and not show up as well because they are very shimmery. And I, I think this palette's really nice. Um, I think it has a lot of great color combinations and I'm really excited to keep using it. Um, but for now, I will definitely say it's a yay. Um, I definitely didn't use a lot, and the stuff is very pigmented. I thought that the color stayed on very well, um, and they were actually easy to blend. So, definitely yay to this Tardius Pro palette. Okay, so off to um, checking this out. Um, checking this out. The Lancome. Um, uh, my mascara doesn't always work very well just by putting it on. Um, I always have to kind of curl my lashes as well. So what I normally do is, which I know it's not really recommended, but um, I basically put on mascara and just to separate my lashes as well as to um, provide some length to them. And then after that, I actually use a eyelash curler, which my favorite eyelash curler of all time, probably for the past 20 years, is the Sh Shuamara eyelash curler. Anyway, uh, what I normally do is I put on mascara just to separate all my lashes and then to give it some, provide some length as well. And then after that, what I do is I normally curl my lashes after I have mascara on, which I know a lot of people don't rec really recommend just because it can kind of break your lashes um, and bend them. It's kind of the same idea as if you spray, you know, some type of hairspray and then you use like a curling iron on it. It's not exactly the same just because my eyelash curler isn't hot, but it's still the idea of you have product on there and it's kind of hardened and then you're actually using um, force on it to actually curl them. So. Unfortunately, that's kind of my routine. That's the only way I can get my lashes to actually work well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that. So here is the bottle. Looks very fancy. So um, I think it says it's 4-1. I guess this is always land comes made in, in France. So, um, it's a very, very pretty bottle. So let me just open it up. Wow, the wand is like pretty cool. Well, just the fact that the wand is curved like that. Maybe it's making it easier for... It doesn't smell like normal mascara. It doesn't have a scent really, like a bad mascara scent, like a typical one, but it doesn't have a good scent either. So I'm just going to uh, basically put some on right now. It's a little bit hard to do this within the camera. So I'm just trying to make sure I don't...
So I just want to wiggle from the base, kind of go up. The actual brush itself has these tiny, tiny, tiny little hairs. Um, so I'm assuming that it's supposed to grab the lashes and pull them, separate them and pull them up. I know some people just love this mascara. I think that it's doing a pretty good job. Um, it's doing a pretty good job without me having to curl my lashes. Which I'm still going to curl them, but... Um, I do really like the way the um, wand is that has this curve so you can kind of just go up and down um, towards your nose I know a lot of times they say to actually instead of going up and down you're supposed to be actually going towards your nose I don't know if that's to coat all the lashes but So I kind of really, I am digging this. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to um, curl my lashes, put some um, actual eyeliner on. I'll put the rest of my makeup on basically and um, I will come back with a zoomed in look of this mascara on my eyes. So, so far I do really do like the curve in the wand. It's pretty neat. I have to say I haven't actually ever used um, a wand like that and I'm a little bit surprised just because you know it actually coming in the container you know, it looks pretty, you know, it just looks normal, right? just looks like a normal mascara bottom. But it's pretty neat that it actually is curved like that in there. And it's it's really easy to use because it's just kind of angled down. Um, the actual brush part, I mean, I do like the Buxom one a lot better. It's, it's actually really similar to this one, but the Buxom one is really wide and fat but it also has the tiny little um, teeth on it so um, but you know I am liking it hi guys I'm back um, I'm just gonna do a little bit close-up on um, the actual mascara and my lashes I didn't actually apply more mascara um, the segment before where I actually was applying it and um, I closed up the bottle I didn't actually use any more so I think it does a pretty good job. I mean, it's it definitely has lengthened my lashes like I would like. I don't think it's really that clumpy. Um, I just ended up curling my lashes, you know, applying the rest of my makeup on my eyeliner as well as some blush and powder, and I actually am using a new lip color. So, um, which is by, by Sephora. It's one of their um, stay on all day lip colors, but um, I really do like this color actually. It's the first time trying it. So I do have another one, but it's um, more brownish, and this one is definitely more reddish. Um, but I think it, it's a good color to go with um, the colors I chose from the palette. So one last quick look. I definitely want to say that um, that the Tardius Pro palette is a definitely a good buy. Um, I don't think that that palette was cheap by any means, but it's a pretty big palette. Um, 
I mean, most of the palettes are usually around the $50 range now with all the Urban Decays as well as um, this, this palette as well. This one's a little bit pricier, but it was actually quite larger. And like I was saying before, you only need a little bit because it's uh, they're very pigmented. So that's really great because you have to you don't have to use tons of product. And so it will last you a long time. So yay to that. Um, I will say yay to the mascara. I definitely have to do a review later on to tell you if it holds up in, um, you know, in an environment where it's kind of hot, like a concert or maybe out in the sun all day, because that's what tends to be my problem where, um, it works really, really well in the beginning. And then once it gets hot or I'm perspiring, then my lashes just droop. And I'm really looking forward to finding um, maybe a waterproof mascara that I can uh, use and won't have that problem in that type of situation. So if you guys have any um, um, suggestions for me or ones that you've heard that you think that I should try out, please uh, leave them below. And if you guys want to leave any questions and tips, tricks, any of those things uh, below, I will greatly appreciate it and I will write back and comment. So thanks again for watching and see you next time.